Hi there everybody, this is Brian, back again with another PowerPoint animation tutorial from 100% PowerPoint. And today we're going to be doing something real fun, a double helix animation. So you'll see that when I hit click here, you get this animation of a double helix twirling. But as usual, you didn't come here to watch an animation, you came here to learn how to build it. So the first thing I'm going to do is escape out of here and delete this first slide, because as usual, I like to do things from scratch. The first thing we're going to do is create the building blocks of our DNA. So you're going to start with a couple of shapes here, and the first one you want to start with is the ellipse one right here. And we're going to draw a little circle. That's a good size. And let's bring it up towards the top. And then we're going to uh, copy this one by using our duplicate trick. So hold down Control and D, and that will give you your second ellipse. Go ahead and drag this kind of over here, and I would say try to center them as best you can on your artboard. Then next, go up to Shapes again, and we're going to use the Line tool here. And you'll notice that if you have it correctly on here, you'll get the anchor points for both of your ellipses. So you can go towards the center here, and oops, sorry about that. There we go, that's better. And drag it towards the middle there. And what's great about that is now you can align everything. So if you align the two shapes, the line will actually snap to the anchor point as well. Let's go ahead and change the color of this one, and we're just going to make it orange. And here you have the beginnings of what you're going to use to create the rest of your double helix. So the next thing we want to do is apply our animations to our base elements. So we're actually going to duplicate this circle one more time. So hold down Control, and hit D, and get that third ellipses here. Now select all three of your ellipses because we want to align them. So go up to Arrange, go down to Align, Align to Top, go and hit Arrange again, and this time go down to Align and we're going to select Distribute Horizontally. Go up to Animations, Add an Animation, and go down to Lines. The next thing we want to do is grab the endpoint of the uh, left ellipses and snap it over here to the start point of the uh, middle. Repeat that for the right one, snap that endpoint to the the start point of the middle, and you're done with that middle circle. So go ahead and select it and delete it. Finally, going to select the line here, add an animation, go down to Grow Shrink, and we're going to change this to With Previous at the start. Go ahead and go up to the ovals, select both of them, and right click go to Effect Options, and the first thing we're going to do is go to Smooth Start, drag that all the way over there because we, do, we want a smooth start and no smooth end. Hit Auto Reverse, and then go to Timing. On Duration, we're going to change this to 0.3 seconds, and on Repeat, we're going to hit Until End of Slide. Go and hit OK, and you're done with the ellipses. Next, Double click on the straight line connector, and once again drag that smooth start all the way to the top. Go up to size, and we're going to change this to 0%. Hit tab, and then go to horizontal. And the reason you want to do horizontal is because you only want it to scale horizontally, not vertically, and you'll see why in a second. Go and hit auto reverse and then go to Timing. Under Duration, once again, we're going to make this 0.3 seconds. And on Repeat, we are going to hit Until End of Slide. And that's it for the uh, animation portion of this. You can go to Slideshow Mode, and you'll see the beginnings of our double helix animation. You see here that it has this look as if it's uh, spinning around on this bar.
So we're going to escape out of here. Next we need to create the remaining pieces of our double helix. So we're going to do a little bit of a trick here. So select everything and hold down control and you'll see this little plus sign on the right hand side of your cursor. Hold down shift as well, left click on your mouse and drag down. And you want to keep your smart guides on because what happens is you get this nice set of guides here visually that help you to evenly space things out. And then you want to go up to delay and add 0.1 second. Hit tab and then go ahead and do this again. So control, shift, left click, and drag down. And you see it evenly spaces it out and go up to 0.2 seconds. And repeat this for as long as you want to go. If you want to have a uh, super long double helix, you can do that. I'm going to make mine a little bit shorter. So give me a sec and I'll go ahead and build out the rest of this. And just in case you're a little worried that uh, everything isn't aligned perfectly, what you can do is select all of the ellipses on your right hand side, go up to Home, Arrange, and then go to Align and Distribute Vertically. So it looks like there was a little bit of a distribution that happened there, so go ahead and repeat that on the left hand side again. Arrange, Align, and Distribute Vertically. And if you remember, we connected our line to the anchor points on our ellipses, so the, uh, the start point and end points of our line actually aligns perfectly to the circle, so you don't have to go in there and realign that. The final thing I'm going to do is apply one more animation to everything, so go ahead and select it all, and go up to Animations, Add an Animation, and we're just going to set this up for a fade. With everything still selected, go ahead and drag it all the way up so you may have to hold it up towards the top. And it'll take a sec, but once you get it, pull it above that very first oval. And we're going to change the delay to one second. And believe it or not, we are done. I'm going to go into slideshow mode, hit click here, Give it a sec, and you have your double helix animation. Hopefully you enjoyed what I shared with you today, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, or maybe you have a suggestion for an animation you'd like me to tackle in the future. Thank you for taking the time, and once again, this has been 100% PowerPoint.